Welcome to Investigating the Universe. Today, we will delve into the mystery of the Apollo 13 mission. One of the most captivating events in the annals of space exploration, the Apollo 13 mission stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of human beings. Launched on April 11, 1970, Apollo 13 was the seventh crewed mission in NASA's Apollo space program. Its primary objective was to land on the moon, following in the footsteps of Apollo 11 and Apollo 12. The crew was a trio of seasoned astronauts, James A. Lovell Jr., the mission commander, Fred W. Heiss Jr., the lunar module pilot, and John L. Swigert Jr., the command module pilot. The anticipation was palpable as the Saturn V rocket carrying Apollo 13 lifted off from Kennedy Space Center. The launch went smoothly, and it seemed like another successful mission was on the horizon. However, just two days into the mission, the unexpected happened. What was supposed to be a routine journey to the moon soon turned into a perilous and uncertain voyage. An explosion, an event as sudden as it was damaging, occurred in one of the service module's oxygen tanks. This explosion, though not immediately lethal, had far-reaching implications that threatened the mission and the lives of the astronauts on board. The oxygen tanks were not just for the crew to breathe. They were an integral part of the spacecraft's life support system, fuel cells, and the service module's propulsion systems. The explosion meant that the command module, the astronauts' only ride home, was now running on borrowed time. The command module, named Odyssey, was running on limited power, and the lunar module, named Aquarius, originally intended to land two astronauts on the moon, was now a lifeboat in the cold void of space. The plans for a lunar landing were abruptly scrapped. The focus now was not on exploration, but survival. The explosion caused a critical failure in the spacecraft systems, causing the cabin to lose heat. The temperature inside dropped close to freezing. The command module's navigation system was also compromised. The crew was a quarter of a million miles from home, lost in the immensity of space with a crippled spacecraft. The crew and the mission control back on Earth had to think on their feet. They had to improvise, adapt, and overcome this unexpected problem. Every decision, every action was now a life or death situation. The astronauts, Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes, despite the dire circumstances, remained composed. They put their extensive training to use, working tirelessly to stabilize their spacecraft and find a way back home. Suddenly, the mission was no longer about landing on the moon, but about getting the astronauts home safely. The story of Apollo 13 had turned from a routine space mission into a daring rescue in the deadly vacuum of space. The explosion had left the spacecraft with limited power, loss of cabin heat, and a shortage of potable water. In the harrowing aftermath of the explosion, the crew of Apollo 13 found themselves facing a crisis of survival. With the spacecraft's power precariously low, maintaining life support became an urgent priority. And, as if that wasn't enough, the explosion had also compromised the cabin's heating system, leaving the astronauts to contend with the biting cold of space. The situation was further complicated by a rapidly dwindling supply of drinking water. In the hostile environment of outer space, water wasn't just a necessity for hydration, it was also crucial for the spacecraft's cooling system and the production of electricity. The astronauts were now in a race against time, battling not just the vast emptiness of space, but also the dwindling resources within their damaged craft. But in the face of such adversity, the crew demonstrated an incredible blend of courage, resourcefulness, and ingenuity. To combat the loss of heat, they used the lunar module, initially intended to land two of them on the moon, as a lifeboat. This provided them with a source of heat and a means to conserve the command module's resources for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. To address the water shortage, they rationed their remaining supply, surviving on quantities far less than the minimum required on Earth. They also improvised devices to remove carbon dioxide from the cabin's atmosphere, using materials they had on board, such as plastic bags, cardboard, and duct tape. This exemplified their resourcefulness in the face of life-threatening adversity. Meanwhile, back on Earth, ground control was working feverishly to devise a plan to bring the crew home safely. Engineers and astronauts alike were putting their heads together, running simulations and troubleshooting solutions. 
exemplifying the collaborative spirit of the space program. Despite the dire circumstances, the crew and ground control worked tirelessly to devise a plan. Their unyielding determination and unwavering courage in the face of immense adversity is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a spirit that refuses to surrender even when lost in space. With a carefully calculated plan, the crew began their perilous journey back to Earth. The stakes were high. The crew of Apollo 13, having just survived a life-threatening challenge, was now facing the daunting task of returning safely to our home planet. Instead of a victorious lunar landing, the crew found themselves in a desperate struggle for survival. Their mission had transformed from one of exploration to one of endurance. The men had to rely on their training, their ingenuity, and a lunar module that was not designed for the task at hand. The lunar module became the crew's lifeboat. Originally meant to ferry two astronauts to the lunar surface, it was now tasked with keeping all three crew members alive on a journey of over 200,000 miles back to Earth. It was a daunting task. The lunar module was not designed for this kind of operation. It was cramped, cold, and lacked the necessary life support systems for a prolonged journey. But the crew, in a display of true grit and determination, adapted. They rationed their supplies, conserved power, and even crafted a makeshift device to remove carbon dioxide from the air. They were literally surviving on a wing and a prayer. Back on Earth, NASA engineers worked around the clock, running simulations and devising strategies to bring the men home safely. It was a race against time, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. As Apollo 13 neared Earth, the crew had to perform a critical engine burn. This maneuver, if executed correctly, would put the spacecraft on the right trajectory to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Any miscalculations could result in a catastrophic failure, either sending the spacecraft hurtling into space or crashing it into Earth. The engine burn was successful. The crew, against all odds, had made it through the most dangerous part of their return journey, but they were not out of the woods yet. The world held its breath as Apollo 13 began its re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. The final hurdle was yet to be cleared. The crew's survival was still far from guaranteed. The world could only wait and hope. Against all odds, Apollo 13 splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on, on April 1770. This marked the triumphant conclusion of one of the most dramatic episodes in the annals of human space exploration. But what made this particular splashdown so special? Let's delve into the details. After the life-threatening ordeal in space, the successful re-entry and splashdown of Apollo 13 were nothing short of a miracle. The three astronauts, Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Heiss, were back on Earth, safe and sound, against all odds. The ground control team at NASA's Mission Control Center played a pivotal role in orchestrating this miraculous rescue. This group of dedicated individuals, led by the unflappable flight director Gene Kranz, worked around the clock, devising ingenious solutions to the complex problems that Apollo 13 faced. When the oxygen tank exploded, they had to quickly devise a new re-entry plan. They had to calculate the precise angle at which Apollo 13 needed to re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Too steep, and the spacecraft would burn up. Too shallow, and it would skip off the atmosphere like a stone skimming across a pond. The team's calculations had to be spot on, and they were. Next, they tackled the issue of life support. The carbon dioxide levels inside the lunar module were reaching dangerous levels. Yet, the ground control team came up with a fantastic solution. They guided the astronauts to build a makeshift mailbox to scrub carbon dioxide from the air, using duct tape and other items on board. It was a masterstroke of improvisation. Finally, the moment of truth arrived. As the world held its collective breath, Apollo 13 re-entered Earth's atmosphere and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, just four miles from the recovery ship, USS Iwo Jima. It was a perfect end to a mission that had teetered on the brink of disaster. The Apollo 13 mission serves as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of teamwork in the face of adversity. And this successful rescue against all odds is a shining example of what we can achieve when we work together to overcome challenges. The Apollo 13 mission, initially seen as a successful failure, 
has provided invaluable lessons for future space missions. This mission, though not going as planned, demonstrated the strength of human ingenuity, teamwork, and resilience in the face of adversity. In retrospect, we revisited the unexpected problem that turned the mission upside down, the life-threatening challenge the crew faced in the cold abyss of space, their perilous return journey, and ultimately, the successful rescue that brought them back home. The legacy of Apollo 13 continues to echo through the corridors of time. It serves as a constant reminder that even in our most ambitious ventures into the unknown, we are not invincible. Yet it also showcases our capacity to overcome, to innovate, and to endure. The lessons learned from this mission have shaped subsequent space expeditions, making space travel safer for future astronauts. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mystery of the Apollo 13 mission. Don't forget to subscribe to Investigating the Universe and like and share this video.